one of the things that happened to you was that the CQC closed your practice and ended your career effectively. Could you say a little bit about the, the price, what that felt like and the price you paid personally for not being compliant with regulations? Yes, um, I have to give you a multi-layered answer, um, both personal and professional. Um, personally, what did it mean? Well, I was initially very shocked. I did not think that they would act with what I consider to be a draconian harshness, which was very destructive, not just for me, but for my staff and my patients and so on. Um, once the shock had passed, of course, I have to deal with a sadness. I have lost something that I had spent my life um, believing in, nourishing, guiding, directing, developing, um, and it's suddenly been killed off. So I have sadness, anger, and there was a certain amount of confusion that I have had to clarify. Professionally, I see what has been left behind as something that is both damaged and diminished, and that is the medical profession, general practice, psychiatry in particular, and that is the heart of pastoral healthcare, the heart of how do we understand individuals who come to us, how do we understand their own human communities, families, ecosystems, that has been destroyed in the name of procedural compliance. So that is something that I have continued to pursue in both understanding it and trying to do something about it, and hence my interview here. So I'm trying to um, enable, develop in myself, um, a transition from hurt grief into something more creative. In, in other words, what can I do with the ashes of this practice, that this career, which was timely in a way because I was 70 years old, how can I get it to fertilise something that is better?